Hi everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to make this diamond bracelet. Alright, but instead of blue and purple, I'm going to be making mine silver and teal. Hold on a second, I'm going to open the door. And yes, this is my first video with music in it. Ooh, what a shocker. Alright, so here's the red arrow. It should be pointing away from you. Um, so let's start with teal. So you're going to take a one teal, go from the center to the left. Then again, go from the center but to the right this time. Then you're going to get a single silver. Okay, so here's, it should make a nice V shape. Okay, now you're going to go from the right, go diagonally up to the center, right there. Then you're going to go from the right to the center. So it makes a nice little diamond with the top half being silver and the bottom half being teal. So where the two silvers meet, you're going to start your teal, go up to the left, then start back where the silvers meet in the first tail started and go to your right so you have another V on top of your diamond that looks like this alright now make that diamond shape again with the two silvers crossing from left to the center and right to the center alright so now you have two diamonds so you have a diamond here and then a diamond here, and they share this peg. Alright. Here, let me scoot these back so I can scoot this forward a little bit. Alright. So, then you're going to get teal again. Start where they met, go to the left. Start where they met, go to the right. So now you have two diamonds and a V. Then finish off your diamond by meeting at the center again. And make sure you go left up and then right up because that pattern is very important. If you do not do that, your bracelet will not come out right. And if you are wondering what songs these are, they are My Songs Know What You Did and Thanks for the Memories and Sugar We're Going Down by The Fall Out Boy. And yes, I know some of these songs are old, but hey. I like the fallout boy. So you're just gonna keep continuing with this diamond pattern. If you have any further questions on this, I can make a more detailed tutorial. If you just comment below and say, hey, I didn't understand this part, and I will make a part two to this video so you can understand a little better. So yeah, and please subscribe. If you subscribe enough, I will start posting more complex bracelets once I get enough subscribers instead of these easy pattern bracelets. And I might come up with some of my own. And my friend was playing around with some bands. And she created a, um, a bracelet. It has loose bands in it, like only half of the band is connected. So that way you have a ring and then loops coming down off of that ring. And it, 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 you think it would be like, oh, that's ugly. But I'm going to have her guest visit and she's going to show you how to do that. And I'll post it. So, yeah, we'll be doing that. But, well, if I'm going too slow for you, I'm just trying to get this pattern stuck in my head. Because this is the only, this is only the second time I've done this bracelet. And, um, actually that bracelet that I showed you earlier, this one, I made this, like, 30 minutes ago. So, 
Yeah, I've never tried this bracelet before. That's probably why I'm going a little slower than usual. But continue this pattern. Remember to go left, then right to keep that pattern right. Alright, once you get to the end right here, you're not going to want to put the teal going up here and here. You just want to get the teal and make it go up here. Do not go up here. Alright? Alright, now it is time to hook it. So, I'm going to get rid of these. Because we don't need all of this. Um, and if you want me to in my future videos, just comment below, um, hey, how many bands does that? And from now on, I'll start counting the bands and telling you how many I put in. And those will not include extensions, so get extra bands for how many extension bands you think you need. And for my wrists, they're, they, they're pretty small. Really, I only get three extension bands for these, and they fit pretty well. As you can see, I only have one, two, three extension bands on this one. So, that works pretty well. Alright, so once we get here, you're going to grab your hook, start at the top. Do not put a capping band on. This is basically going to be your capping band. Alright, so you're going to reach um, behind that teal. And grab the top silver and loop it where it came from then go back under there get the silver loop it to the other side all right and you're gonna reach in the left silver loop grab the teal put it on go through the right silver loop grab that loop it over here then reach under all those grab the top silver band and go over here. Now, if you looked at it closely, it looks like a fishtail with an extra loop in the center and a more detailed loop over here. And it, it's very, very cool. It's hard to think how you did that because it turns out very thick, too. It's like my nail, and my nails are pretty long um not that they're like nine inch nails or anything but um so we're just going to continue this pattern grabbing the silvers pulling them to the side so this is what your pattern should look like and i'm going to do this right here you're going to reach through these silvers, grab the teal, pull the teal up where it became, or where it started, reach through this one, grab this teal, reach it to the same peg, then reach through all of these, grab the top silver, sorry about the ads, I'm on Spotify and Spotify just has ads like that because it's a pain. But you're going to continue this pattern. You can hear that ad. It was very annoying. I'm going to mute this, if you don't mind. Alright. Nope, so on. Alright, well... Um, comment below if you don't understand this, and I will try to make a more detailed video. Um, either say, I don't understand the looping, or I don't understand the placement, or I don't understand how you do the entire bracelet, and I will make a new video on my feedback. So, comment below what you don't understand, or if you understand it perfectly, say, hey, I understood everything. Good job, that's just fabulous. Because I like positive feedback. So comment below. 
and don't forget to subscribe subscribing really helps me and as you can see we're still continuing the exact same pattern we've been doing forever um nothing's really changed you're just doing a normal loop I guess it's it's pretty normal like I, I when I first did it it was like natural kind of felt like I had to do that it was naturally telling me to do that I don't know but make sure you're still going left and right left and right so that these turn out right correctly so I'm going to go left then I'm going to go right, find the top one, which goes left, find the top one, which goes right. Sorry, I wasn't scooting this. Um, I'm almost to the top. Sorry about, like, not being able to see that. I totally forgot to scoot over, because I just work wherever I can, and why is there a cat sniffing me? Oh, it's my normal cat, okay. By the way, if you see anything jumping in the background, it's one of my cats. Alright. Technically not mine. I don't like a few of them. Alright, so once you're done looping all of them, and they look like this. This is the bottom, where that big one was, where it just went across. And then you go across. This is the top, and they all end on the center peg. Alright, so now it's time to make the extension. Put this through there. And you're just going to pull it through. Alright, then you're going to place it like this. Pull another one through. Pull another one through. Until you get to the right length. I normally do about three. Then you're going to get either an S clip or a C clip. For this one, I'm going to be using a C clip since that's what I did with the other one. And I'm just going to pull that through. So I have my C clip attached. Now, what I'm going to do is just carefully pull this off. And sometimes I use this hook, sometimes I don't. And yes, I know it's so bare and it has no cover on it. But eventually, I'm going to make a pencil cover and put the pencil cover on this. And it won't be as bare. And I will actually teach you how to make that pencil cover eventually. Um, probably after I teach you everything like bracelet-wise. But um, my next bracelet is going to be the zippy chain. Um, I have not been able to loop it correctly. So once I find out how to loop it correctly, and it'll actually come off right, I will post that and how I did that. Because uh, my friend never, my friend that created the other way yeah she was never able to do it but she said she placed the bands a different way and did something special to make it actually work so apparently it works I just can't get it to work alright so this is what you're left with alright and you're just going to get this last band and hook it into the C clip and this is your bracelet thank you for watching my next video will be the zippy chain thank you